Well, eating too many sweets, of course, isn't healthy. And now there's a growing body of evidence that suggests sweets may harm your health in more ways than we ever imagined. Dr. Kim Mulvihill explains the culprit is a molecule found in all sugars and sweeteners and fructose. Foie gras is French for fatty liver. The delicacy, often sold as pâté, is made when ducks or geese are force-fed, causing their livers to fatten up as much as 12 times normal size. However, what's shoved down their throats is not fat, but corn. In order to make pâté, you don't feed them fat. You feed them carbohydrate. You feed them sugar. Pediatric endocrinologist Dr. Robert Lustig of UCSF says he's starting to see fatty livers that look just like foie gras raw, but not in ducks or fancy restaurants. He's seeing fatty livers in the bodies of overweight and obese children. And if you look at a kid's fatty liver, it looks like pate. Under a microscope, a normal human liver looks like this. Here's a fatty liver. All those white dots are globs of fat. What hurt their livers was not just excess calories, he says, but excess amounts of a molecule called fructose. And the trouble in the liver is causing another problem. See that dark stripe along this young girl's neck? It's not dirt. It's a sign of excessive insulin, which is a precursor in many cases to diabetes. Fructose is found naturally in fruits and veggies, but it's also found in many sugars, from cane and beet to high fructose corn syrup. It doesn't matter if the sugar is coming out of the ground or being made in a factory. The bottom line is it's half fructose and the fructose is dangerous. A century ago, Americans ate roughly three teaspoons of fructose a day, mostly from fruits and vegetables. Today, we eat five times that amount, closer to 17 teaspoons a day. And it's coming mainly from processed foods and beverages. Sugary drinks, baked goods, cereals, snacks, and fruit juices. And growing evidence suggests consuming too much fructose over time is harmful. In a recent study, adults fed fructose-sweetened beverages for just 10 weeks gained toxic belly fat, boosted triglycerides, and became more insulin resistant. Our livers can't handle that onslaught. It doesn't know what to do with it all. It turns it into fat. The sugar and sweetener industries take issue with the research. The Sugar Association says the fructose in table sugar is biologically distinct from other forms of fructose. The Corn Refiners Association says these experiments used 100% pure fructose. That is totally irrelevant to human nutrition. Cardiologist Dr. James Rippey speaks for the Corn Refiners Association. He says both table sugar and high fructose corn syrup are only 50% fructose. It's very unfortunate that people are doing these pure fructose experiments and then confusing the public to say, well, gee, if pure fructose is bad, high fructose corn syrup must be bad. Not only that. It's also important to remember that another major source of fructose in the diet is fruit. Do we really want people to be afraid of consuming fruit? Dr. Lustig says no reason to fear. Go ahead and eat whole fruits and veggies. Unlike processed foods, he says, fruits and veggies have fiber, which slows the absorption of fructose so the liver can handle it. Remember, fiber is the antidote to fructose. Wherever there's fructose in nature, there's way more fiber. Dr. Kim Mulvihill, KSL 5 News. Okay, if fiber is one antidote, the other is exercise because with fructose, you have to either burn it off or metabolize it with your liver.